Good morning. When we're back, look at this. Brody! You got us all wet, Brody. Are you having fun? Lots of it. He lost his voice. He don't have a voice either. <laughs> Oh, the sickness has struck Larson Farms. I was down all weekend with a sore throat and feeling kind of under the weather, but I'm good now. And now yeah, he's luckily. got no voice. I feel fine he's got no voice. You know how that goes. All right. Well, he's washing up the plow because I think we're done for the year. Brody says so. we're done. We're done. <laughs> Short week. Yep. Short week. So we're going to unhook some plow tile equipment. Me and Chris are going to go over and drop them off at the shed, the spinner trailers. Here, you missed the spot right there. Alright, so we are going to go unhook this where we keep our little rippers. We've never kept our spinner trailers inside before, um, but after all the wheel bearings failed on our older one from sitting outside, we're going to try to keep them inside. Isn't it a beautiful frosty morning? I believe it's 23 degrees out and it's everything's just frost and the pickup's all frosty. Hey, look at this! So this is our new spinner trailer. We're gonna also put that over in a shed so that it stays nice. This is normally where we keep our, our little rippers and our big 870. The other five shank ripper needs to come in here at some point somewhere. I'm thinking over there for the spinner trailers. I almost beat you here. I know what. <laughs> the, old, the old flare box ain't a high speed ah! unit, is it? No. <laughs> Okay, my arm's all kitty wampus. Look at the struggling. Oh yeah, plenty of room. He's tight that way towards the wall. We're gonna try and poke him right up nice and tight in here without hitting the IV. Oh yeah, lots of room. Keep her coming. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fit. Except I'm trapped now. I'm trapped. Chris, I'm trapped. What happened? You fit her in so tight I barely got out. Good thing you're small. <laughs> well, the camera decided to start acting up so I couldn't film it, the rest of it. But we did get it moved in there, safe and sound. And it's time to start switching to the uh, cold winter batteries for the camera. We're gonna try to unhook the big beast here quickly. I've gotta go meet with a landlord about a project he wants done with the excavator. And I do not want them trying this without me, the guy that runs it and knows which hydraulic levers do what. So, let's see how this goes. We need to account for room in case we gotta get bucky with it when we hook back up. That, that should be good. If the pallet's moved, we got a foot and a half. Yeah, this'll work. This will work. I don't know what that board's for. We don't need that. But that jack goes in here. This one goes in the other side. That is actually a miracle that that comes out that easily. We're sitting nice and level. Lower pins unhooked. Okay, the only thing to watch for now, I gotta leave my hydraulics hooked up. It should all clear, but I may have to play with the hydraulics because this sometimes can get close to that, but normally that's a hookup issue rather than an unhook issue. So far it's going pretty It's smooth. only an issue if you drive slow. <laughs> Pulling away. Lowering. <laughs> His eyes are big. Wish you guys could see, it just teeters back and forth. It's a treacherous situation. We've done it! 
successfully done it. All right, I'm gonna go meet with the landlord. He's gonna, he, we're unhooked. Everything good. Now, I believe they're gonna hook the scraper up because I have to make some um, dikes or what maybe people in Iowa or down south would call a terrace, but I call it a dike. So that's what we have to do eventually. I don't know if that'll be today, probably not, but we'll see, at least I'll be hooked up. Look at this thing, Brody. The old high school truck's been in, into tiling this year and was just destroyed. And Brody has Brody cleaned it. It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. Not perfect, but it's clean. How about the, how about the inside? That's not clean yet. Oh, it needs to be vacuumed. I need a new seat too, Brody. Just put a seat cover over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the, it's kind of wore out towards the Can't outside, you, like, so then you're- Can like Doug does? Yeah. Yeah, the heater seat and element's this, also ruined. This right here pinches your <laughs> butt when you get out. <laughs> oh, I don't. It yeah. happened to you before? I used to daily this, baby. I've experienced everything. So, anyways, that's kind of been my, my hunting truck, deer hunting, and just something that I don't care all that much about. I mean, I still care about it, but cattail fuzz in the interior, not such a big deal. So it hasn't been maintained too well, and the pinion seal into the rear end is leaking oil, so we're gonna get it over the pit and see if we can't replace that. as good a condition as I thought, Brody. There's rust starting. Cancer. Cancer. The Minnesota weld is taking over. <laughs> the Minnesota weld is taking over. So besides the rust that's been uh, recently brought to my attention, look at how clean this truck is, like realistically, Brody. I, kept, I used to wash this thing once or twice a week in the winter. Really? I did. I care about it. Still care about it. And... Well, no frame is, rust? One gonna, time! This is going to be the first spot you get rust. I can feel cancer in here. Well, one time up in this rail here. Uh, as you can you see this right here. Yeah. Did you do that? Uh, I took it to the body shop because the rodents in my garage at my old house. Mm -hmm. Somehow, I have no idea, and obviously it was being driven every day, but every night they decided to carry dog food in there. Nice. And it vents somehow the air gets up into the cab. The mice couldn't get in there, but it stank so bad. You have no idea. And I actually took it to the body shop and they ended up cutting this open and then cleaning this whole cavity. I don't even know. They decided to cut it there and they fixed the issue. And it no longer smells like rotten dog food, but it was a low time in the in the truck's history. Yeah, there's a little cancer there too. That's the door. Yeah, she ain't perfect, but for having a hundred and what is it? Seventy thousand 70, miles. Seventy thousand. I missed some mud. Don't show. This mud. <laughs> That's how rust gets started, Brody. I can't get in there. But for having one hundred seventy thousand miles on her, pretty good. Pretty good. My spare needs some air. It is low, Brody. Half inch? Ah, uh, sure. Or 716. That ain't seven. It's a half. There's, I can't believe they wouldn't put a drain plug on this. Hey, this is my new snap-on pry bar that Chris brought back from <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> I gave it to you. Uh, <laughs> thank you for replacing both of our failure to remove from the combine drain tape. Do you want a smaller one? Or hey, hey, I want to point. I want to point out that the guy that wasn't even fully responsible for the issues brought the tools back, and the guys that just 
totally destroy all of my tools, never replace any. Thank you, Chris, for being an amazing human. We tell you that we bust them and then you never replace them. <laughs> Did I have, break them? We don't have the access of ordering tools. Right, Chris? With my account. It's, he's trying to... <laughs> How does this work? <laughs> I don't know. This should be warranty, right? Oh, yeah, when you lose everything. Warranty works well, great. Well, the stuff that we bust was warranty work. And you actually did get the right stuff to replace them. I need a hammer tool. Do you want it smaller? This, it, although it's nice, it's quite large, Chris, for the job. I replaced the size that was broken. <laughs> Where's the big hammer at? Oh, I suppose you lost that too. No, it's been done. It's <laughs> Oh, it's Chris leaking. It. It's leaking! Chris has got it. It. This must have been changed at some point. That's not what 170,000 mile oil should look like. It smells like 8090, boys. Oh. 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 Look at that. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? It just starts breaking out teeth. <laughs> out of the mouth. I don't see any teeth missing. We're good. Not that I know at all what I'm looking at. It definitely has been changed before, Brody. Look at that. I don't remember it being serviced, so that's concerning. Granted, that has been uh, 12 years ago, 13 years ago since I bought this. What do you see? Is she welded? No, no. It's, no it's, it's a one-wheel <laughs> wonder unit. It should be. Should we weld it? There's no opportune time than the present to weld that together. This ain't a demo truck, boys. We're not welding my diff together. <laughs> well, you could do burnouts. It don't have enough power. It's only a 4.7. <laughs> she don't do burnouts either. That's why she has to be a one-wheel wonder to get anything out of her. <laughs> what stuff? This stuff? What happened there? The, the kid wiring job? The kid wiring job. Oh, what the, the learning Oh, the that, that too? That, that, <laughs> that, uh, that's something else. Hey, you everyone like, has to like, start somewhere. I didn't you, become a professional overnight. I were still you like 16? 15? I was maybe 17 then. There's welding upside down with the sparks falling on me. And it's still holding. Hey. There at one point in your life thought, wow, that looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's so funny. I wish I could have my high school pickup back. But yours was nice. I really do miss the it. The only problem was it was a Chevy. But the, it, yeah, it, it, there's a problem. There's a reason that he switched to Dodge. No, there was a reason why I Ram. sold that truck. And the guy that bought it fell off the hardware. Wow, just openly admits on camera that he screwed <laughs> the guy he over. He, he said he got like 40,000 miles off of him. Pretty good. The I actually contacted him because I wanted to buy it back, and he said, I don't have that truck anymore. And I said, oh, shoot, I was going to buy it back. <laughs> it'd just be me. It, it'd be like the uh, Impala boys that it's now turned to a Buick and an Impala, only it'd be Chet and Brody in their high school trucks just reliving the good days. I would kill to have that truck back. <laughs> it was black. It was. Extended cab. <laughs> so it was never clean. Oh yeah. He had that thing looking sharp. I drive about 10 miles an hour down the gravel road every <laughs> day. Serious, that's for you. So nothing's changed. Your new pickups, you do the same thing. That's, that's true. true. I watched him come in on the driveway this morning, granny speed. <laughs> granny speed, until he's driving the Buick and it's just a silver Buick streak of dust going down the road. Tomorrow, I'm bringing the Buick. Yeah, dude, engine oil change. So stay tuned. <laughs> Maintenance. If this is off the pit, which I don't know if it will be. Well, if we quit talking, it, the job would uh, get done sooner. Just so, so fun reliving the the old glory days. Back when life was simple, all you had to worry about was a payment and to fill up gas. That was it. That was it. That's I'm, I'm, a not, I'm not. I'm not. That was sometimes a struggle. What? <laughs> oh, that's close. That might be it. Unless they've switched back to metric again. That is not the right one. This one is 
33. Let's see if we're lucky. 32. <laughs> I was close for guessing. 31. No, no, 31. 30. 30 is going to be too small. Yeah, it's a 31, and we don't have one. So, inch and a quarter, and just sending her home. So, we got the drive shaft off. Came off pretty decent. New joints, even perfect. Unbelievable. I found out why my seal has gone to garbage. Why? Since being upgraded to a hunting truck and the off roading through grass, and there's string or rope or something all wound up in it. But we have gotten to the point where we can remove the old seal. Never done this in my life. This goes inside the seal. Uh-oh. I never marked which way it come out. <laughs> you suppose that, that shouldn't matter, right? It's not like a semi where there's drive shafts going through. I think you're okay. Chris? Chris? <laughs> <laughs> what? How many Uggas is uh, 210 foot pounds, Brody? Ugga, 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 Ugga. Oh, my new nut's a different size. <laughs> I got a new nut and it's different size. It's bigger. Give me the nut. The nut's already threaded on with new lock tighting. It's just a tad bigger. Try a 33. I hear a wrench drop and then just, uh. Oh, 33 this time is gonna work this great. For oh, me. God. It's now metric unit. Sounds like 210 to me. There's now rear end play, guys. How come there wasn't any of this before? <laughs> I did it better than the engineers, you see. Hmm. New seals in. Now we just gotta add some oil. You aren't Brody. No. I, don't, I wish I was not Peter. I <laughs> wish I was. Because then if I was him, I wouldn't be doing this. You know, yeah. you ever feel like you're polishing a turd? Wouldn't know. You, you washing mean, yourself? Absolutely yeah. soaked doing it. You know, Brody don't get wet when he does it. Yeah, because he wears the high gears. <laughs> I should too. <laughs> Uh, he's getting his flow back. He's getting his flow back. Yeah, you're getting married at the end of this week, and I don't think I'm gonna get a haircut. Or should I show up and just buzz it? No, it looks like, no, I don't like. When you look, look like I'm in high school. I don't like when you look like a toad. A toad. <laughs> a toad. Okay. Are you not using foam? Not yet. Well, we'll foam it. Don't you worry. I'll shine up this turd for you. <laughs> Why do you not like this beast? It's a beast. Well, you you and Brody it. together just dislike it. You can't I think it's quite it. a unit. Can't hit it too hard with water. Oh. Otherwise the paint just leaves. <laughs> there is, more, there is areas <laughs> that the camera makes look better. It's coming off in sheets. Well, you know, if you just don't look at it, it's not there. Well, on a side note, we did get this filled with oil. I waited quite a while so that the sealant we use kind of cured. Other than that, what else did we do, Brody? I worked on the interior, or actually Brody, he Brody cleaned the inside for me. First time in years, it's looking beautiful. I actually put a new radio in. The old one worked just fine, only it didn't have Bluetooth, and uh, now it has Bluetooth. And that led to a bunch of other long lines of finding issues with this and the subs under there which most people probably don't know what they are unless you're in the younger generation but it's the thing that makes the vehicle boom boom when you're in high school and all of us uh, all of us now almost 30 year olds still think it's entertaining ain't that right Chris right. for a while for a while pizza again huh again
you got to fit into your suit, remember? I don't, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we, won't, we, won't, we won't tell anybody about how you hey. didn't fit into your coat. Everything else fit. <laughs> I don't think it got bigger. <laughs> you thought it got bigger. What did your wife say when you told her? She laughed. <laughs> oh. I said, well, I don't think it's, it's not this way. It fits good this way, but it was just this way. He's been working out again. You've been benching? I was benching. 225. Every night before I go to bed. <laughs> just looks like an old person workout. Not, he's about to not be baby grunts. He's about to be swole grunts. <laughs> Put about five pounds up here and go like this. <laughs> be careful, you may pull a muscle, Brody. Did you stretch? This morning I did. That was his stretching. I wake up. <sighs> Good to go. There will be a point in your life where you do that and you go, ah, it's not right. It is a good idea to stretch every morning, though. We should stretch every morning when we get to work. Five minutes. Yeah. What are you doing? Crossfires. Installing. I, I need the... Hey, Chad. Hey, Brody. Is this tight? No. Okay. You want to see something? King pins. Get right down in here and do that again. <laughs> Black of grease again, huh? From the previous owner. There's been a lack of maintenance in this general area. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, that's not good news. It's going to be an expensive trucking department year. We got one truck in getting an overhaul that was unexpected. We, we just know. won't talk about that in this video. We'll talk about that in a later video. And th this machine is down. The batteries are <laughs> junk. Kingpins might be junk. Something about some something there is junk. It's not good. Buying used, never good. Tires are junk. <laughs> all right, I think I've had enough of hearing about all the disappointing news, Brody. Good Let's news sign off. Good news only. Good news. Good news is your voice is a little better. That doesn't feel better. How do I get a better voice? Syrup? Well, we can't blame Honey? it. Honey? We can't blame it on talking loud. No, I wasn't talking loud at all this weekend. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.